last seven years, I've been a professional cyclist and I absolutely love it because cycling used to be my hobby and now it's what I do as a job full time. So it's kind of like a dream come true. So I'm a member of the Canadian national cycling team and I'm also a member of a trade team it's based in California. I'm really proud to have represented Canada at the World Championships four times so far in my career. I've had a couple of podiums at the Canadian National Championships. Sometimes uh, we might feel overwhelmed with our goals that are a little bit far. You can actually surprise yourself quite a bit in terms of what you can accomplish when you keep a positive mindset and stay in the moment and not think too far ahead. As cyclists, sometimes we get weak hips because we're used to compensating with larger muscle groups instead of using our stabilizers and using our hips. Eccentrics helped me kind of focus on that issue and identify them and just reconnect with my body in a way that I was able to start using these smaller uh, muscle groups and start activating these muscles in my hips. So I like to incorporate eccentrics into my training schedule no matter where I am in the season. It's really cool because it's something that's not too intense, there's not a lot of impact and I feel like I get almost more energized and at the same time, I'm doing a bit of strengthening. A lot of the work that we do in eccentrics and a lot of the movements uh, forces us to use our core muscles and our other stabilizers in the hip area. So it's important to be able to use these smaller muscle groups to keep ourselves stable so that we can fully solicit the bigger muscle groups like our, our quads and our glutes to produce the real big amounts of power. Eccentrics can certainly be of great benefit to anybody who's just starting out in cycling. It's a really cool way to become a little bit more in tune with your body and just become more connected with muscle groups that you may not even realize that you can activate and use. And it's also a great way to build up some strength, especially for your stabilizers, which are key in cycling, to keeping a good position and to reducing any pain that you might have. It's a great way to build up your flexibility too, which is really important in cycling. And I think being more flexible too helps with injury prevention and it also helps us have a greater range of motion so that we can produce more power. And that's something that's paid off, I think, in the sense that uh, I haven't experienced as many injuries and I think I have eccentrics to, to thank for that. <laughs>